Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. And as I promised at the end of the last video, uh, we are going to be buying our very first truck today. Now, unfortunately, we only have this. As you can see, no other ones discovered. Um, we only have this one truck dealership unlocked, but we can go ahead and buy one from here, so... Fortunately, they only have, you know, 370 horsepower, which is not very much, but no big deal. So let's see which one is better. Because they're going to have very, very similar stats. So we'll just have to see if there's any differences at all. Oh, this one has a higher uh, fuel tank and what's well, probably a better shifter, so we'll get this one. Customize configuration. Uh, that's right. No, what did I do? Okay. Yeah, we'll do that one. Ooh, better engine. That's a must. Um. Yeah, let's do that one. Um. That's a nice red. We'll do the red. Uh, we'll do that. Throw one of those on there. Throw that on there. Ooh, cool red bumper. Yeah, that's nice. Nicer wheels. We'll get those. And those, although, actually, I'm not even sure if we're going to be able to save this configuration, unfortunately. Now that I think about it. But, hey, that's alright. No big deal. I'll just go back through and reselect it all. But anyway. What are you? What are you? Okay. So all that's good and dandy. Unfortunately, we're going to have to leave. But we will see if it, if it uh, ends up saving our configuration. So we can only hope that it does. Um, I'm not sure how much it was, so we're just going to do 100000 for now. And then... We'll do 50000 And then... Truck dealers... Truck dealers, you buy online. Ah, shoot! Looks like it didn't save our configuration. Oh well. Here, I'm gonna use my mouse to click through this real quick. Four ten. Uh, better engine already. That one. Uh. That's nothing special. Customization. That and that and that. Boom, that looks cool. Those special wheels. Uh, so I'm assuming, yeah, so it's switching on both sides. Okay, yep, those have the same. Okay. What are you, what do you change? Uh, 
I don't really like the white one. We'll do that one. Okay, just gas tanks. Looks like nothing special back here. Okay, confirm. And we're gonna purchase it. Okay, we're gonna take it to our home garage in Eugene. Then I'll click OK. All right, no more, no more mouse clicks. Okay, and I think I think that's it. I think we just have to go to our garage now. Yeah, there it is. Um, okay, so I think now we quick travel to Eugene to get to our garage. Actually, we're already there. Huh, what are the chances? We're already in Eugene. Actually, with quick jobs, I think you're just automatically back to uh, where you are. Also, yes, I am aware that it said $3, which means it's not going to take us very far. But I am curious to see where it where it is going to take us. So, is this our truck or? Nope, wrong thing. Ah, oh, look at that. Well, here it is. It's parking under this light. Now look at that, isn't that pretty? Okay, well, I mean, that's crazy. There it is. That is our truck, we own this. Well, technically the bank owns it, but that's pretty cool. Well, let's get a little bit of a, a job just to Although I do want to look at trailer purchase. Advance further in your career. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is all this kind of stuff. But I prefer to do external contracts. Uh, profiles not connected to world of trucks. You know what? I think my other one is connected to World of Trucks, so we'll just do these. So, uh, let's do this one. Set its GPS destination. Wait, is that just a distance to the trailer? It is. I wonder if there's a canceling fee. Oh. I lied. Okay, is there one that starts in Eugene? Come on, surely someone likes Eugene. Hey, there's Eugene. It's a kind it's a triple trailer though. I wonder if there's a different one in Eugene. Eugene, Eugene, come on. There we go. Also, I am aware that this is not some, uh, super well-paying contract, by the way. Um, I will show you one thing. Um, these pay really good for the really long-distance ones. And if we look at these... They pay less, but they'll pay more as we get more and more leveled up. So don't think that this is, we're stuck like this forever. Also, while we're here, we can go ahead and repay this one. I just wasn't sure if we were going to need it, so we can repay, yes. Okay, now time to go pick up this, uh, this cargo. 
This is really nice, by the way. Oh, of course, at this instant, we discover a Volvo truck dealer. It's fine. I like this. Western Star is a good company. Oh, it's so responsive. Also, it doesn't... Keep in mind that it doesn't have a trailer on the back of it right now, so that's one of the reasons for it being so responsive. But still, this thing, this thing has some get up and go. Which, by the way, is the technical term. Get up and go, definitely. It's like driving a regular car, almost. I love it. Come on, change. Change! Oh. It actually stopped whenever I did the horn. Did you see that? Was that because of me, or was that just chance? Okay, come on. Surely. Sweet. Ooh, I do need to do one thing real quick. Because I'm assuming y'all want to be able to hear the truck. Okay, I'm going to have to use my mouse for this. Okay, and there we go. Also, sorry about all the sounds you're probably hearing from, like, the mic getting jiggled around and stuff. Um, my cord organizer should be here on Saturday, but right now the mic cord is literally running across my lap because I switched it to the other side of my desk, so that's why. Also, by the way, on repairs on this, we can't just leave them be because... This is our truck, so we have to pay for all the repairs, and they're pretty expensive. This is fast. On light change. Oh, there we go. A little bit bumpy, a little bit bumpy of a road. I want that job. Okay, my trailer is ready. Head towards the green flag. Alright, there it is. Looks like my controller disconnected. Oh no, it just straight up died. Okay, my controller died. I will be right back. Okay, hello everyone. I know that that was literally instant for all of you. But for me, that was about 35 minutes. Because it took about 15 minutes to find batteries, plus other time that I spent on my phone because I'm a, you know, a teenager addicted to my phone. I was watching uh, YouTube shorts. Uh, it's really easy to go down that rabbit hole. People say uh, short form content will die out soon. I must disagree because I think it is quite the contrary. I think it will continue to grow. I just like break through these chains. Nope. 
Look at that tiny little chain holding back this entire- what the? Okay, I- did y'all see that? I told- I 100% attached to the trailer. Why did it say I didn't? Okay. We're just gonna go back through this way because I don't- I don't know what the other ways are like, so... I don't want to get stuck somewhere. We all saw episode 3, I think it was, and that did not go well. Or maybe it was episode 4. I think it was 3. But yeah, that did not go so well. Uh-oh. Oh, our first little love tap. Oh, of course. The backing up in this game is not very good. Like, it's realistic, but the whenever you press on the reverse pedal, what the? I'm not hitting anything. Do you guys see that? I'm not touching a single thing. The hitbox is too large, so it's making it seem like I hit something, even though I didn't. Which is really annoying. I like the steering wheel though. I think that's pretty good. Ignore the water flowing sound. It's coming from upstairs in my house. Oh, green light. Let's play some uh, red light, green light. I can get up here. Do 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 I don't need to get copyright struck, so I'm gonna stop humming that. What? I literally did not even touch that guy. It's BS. BS, OB, bullcrap, I don't care. It's everything. I didn't press the uh, change camera mode button, it just suddenly put me back in the first person view from cinema. Or, uh, I totally forgot what that's called. Anyway, from that mode. Oh, it just closed my game? What the heck? Uh, I don't know what's going on. But yeah, my game just closed for some reason, minimized the tab. That is weird. Never had that happen before. Actually, I guess I don't need to put on the turn signal. Still 55 through this turn, that's kind of crazy. I thought it would be slower. Not that we're going 55. Gotta go pretty slow on these. I usually like to get as much distance as I can while going uh, decently fast, and then slow it down. Anywho, continuing on, 
Looks like we have about a 150 mile journey ahead of us, three hours. So, pretty average. Uh, estimated time of arrival, 5.15 a.m. Um, maybe the sun will be rising by then, that would be pretty nice. Looks like we have an increase in speed limit, not that we've reached the previously set one, but we're getting there. swerving a little bit. I hate how loud it is whenever you look out that way. Like, it's really cool that it has that point of view. They can look out from inside to the first person. That's really cool, but it is also really annoying how loud it is. And I don't know exactly which audio setting, like, changes that out of all of them. So I'll have to try to figure that out one of these days, but... By the way, leave a com uh yeah, leave a comment if you'd like to start seeing live streams and uh VR content. So, if you're interested in either of those things, please let me know. Oh, we're getting pretty fast now. Seventy five miles per hour, we are moving at over a mile per minute. Well over a mile per minute. I'm too dumb to do the exact math right now, but I'm sure some of you are smart cookies out there. That's what my teachers in elementary school used to say. You're one smart cookie. I didn't know cookies had brains. I didn't know cookies were capable of thinking in any major capacity, or thinking at all, as a matter of fact. But that's what they kept saying. Were they insulting my intelligence by saying I had the intelligence of said cookie? Because cookies don't have intelligence. Were they calling me dumb? Is that just teacher's way of insulting their students without, you know, getting in trouble? Will we ever know? <laughs> uh panic attack. One of my friends got held back in kindergarten one time, like, how bad do you have to be at school to get held back in kindergarten? I always felt really sorry for him because, like, all of us were his closest friends, and then we moved up to the first grade and he was stuck in kindergarten. I was like, damn, man, kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. It's all good, though. I don't know where he is now. I haven't seen him since, like, 6th grade. But I'm sure he's in fine. Or, I'm sure he's doing fine. It's always felt like he just got held back for no reason, though. Like, he was a good kid. I don't know what he did to make... And I'm assuming it was his parents, because most of the time... Or a lot of the time, the, the parents, whenever they feel like their child hasn't really developed in that class enough, they'll uh, ask for him to be held back in that grade, but I don't know what he was doing or what his grades were like. I don't know how you fail things in kindergarten that his parents, or maybe it was the teacher, was like, you know what, I think you need to retake kindergarten, but stupid idiot. Get out of the way. He crossed four lanes of traffic seemingly just to get in front of me for no reason. Like, come on, man, get out of the way. Anywho. 75 miles left in an hour and a half. Okay, we're gonna need to take a left up here, but I'm pretty sure that's just where the, no where the road will naturally go, if I can speak English. I guess there's no real natural. It kind of splits down the middle, but... No special turn off, so we don't have to worry about it. 
Ooh, that police officer didn't find me. I really thought he was going to. So far, we haven't had any fines in this truck, and we're only at 2% damage. Which, one of which, 1% of which was not my fault at all. It was a game with some oversized hitboxes. Although we did get that one crash vehicle offense. Which I like barely touched him, so that was still kind of my fault. And the other one was me just bumping into something. But that one, that one was seriously just a game issue with the hitboxes. Like I understand it's hard to make perfect hitboxes, but that is like perfect. This is a pretty nice trailer too, I kind of like how it looks. Oh, perfect. Light change drives us started honking. Oh, hey, there's a police car right there. It wasn't the same one that we saw a minute ago, because that one turned to the right lane, so... Unless they're specifically following someone. Pulled an illegal U-turn to get into this side of traffic. I don't think so, though. 50 miles, one hour out, roughly. Sounds like a car alarm. I'll tell you what, it seems like everywhere I go, at every store, I just have like a curse that causes someone's car alarm to randomly go off. I promise it's not me. Okay, looks like my mic audio cut out once again. Um, I'm not sure how long it was out for. Uh, I don't think very long. Anyway, all that anyone missed is just me pointing out. There's 15 miles left, 30 minutes. Sure would suck if we crashed into that police car, though. Okay, looks like everyone merged successfully. I don't think they'll pull you over for being in the wrong lanes, but we'll see. We will see indeed. Cause this isn't even really a lane. Yeah, I don't think I talked about anything significant in the last couple minutes. Just the fact that we're quite close, I think that's it. Slow down. Oh, I want to get past this guy, but... Okay, my speed limit... thing disappeared. Hey! No, no, no. 
crash vehicle offense. Come on, that wasn't even really a crash. That was more just a little tap. My monetary goal for this video, by the way, is uh, 10,000, so. In case you don't know what my monetary goal is, I set a goal for what our bank balance is hopefully at by the end of the episode. So, uh, today's is 10,000. I'm in. Hey, look at this super cool truck, though. Oof. I was slamming on the brakes as hard as I could, but it wasn't, uh, wasn't doing anything. I know it seems like I'm beating up our, our new truck a lot, but... I wouldn't really say that's my fault. Sometimes the brakes are super sensitive, sometimes they aren't. I don't really know what, what's going on, but... In the end, it probably is my fault. I'm, it's probably just being dumb, but... I need to turn on some wipers. I'm gonna put it on the second setting. Come on, change. Oh, there we go. I think humans have a natural ability to, like, detect whenever it feels like something is taking too long. And then right after you say something is usually when it happens. I know that happens to me a lot. I don't know if it happens to anyone else, but... I experience that a lot. I don't care if it turns red before I get there. I'm going. I don't have to deal with another red light. Okay, good. I didn't miss my turn. Hey, I've been here before. I don't know what this town is. Astoria? Yeah, I've been to Astoria before, I think. Uh-oh. Looks like we went past this little gate. It has this nice little gate here. I hope a train doesn't start coming. I think our trailer's on the train tracks. Whoa. Looks like we got a little bit hung up there on the post. It's more of a pillar than a post, I guess, but... You know what I mean. I think we can get a little bit of extra XP for parking this right. Oh, that was good? What? I thought that was terrible. Okay, yeah, sure, I'll take it. Alright, there we go. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent. Alright, continue. Alright, looks like we made it to our monetary goal. But, uh, yeah, that was pretty great. Uh, wow, that time went by really quickly. 34 minutes. Alright. Well, let's do it. Let's do a f little photo op. Whoa. Oh, you do it like this? That's so crazy. Okay, well, we'll save that for later then. But anyway, I thank you very, very much for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed. Um, in the next episode, we'll be doing more hauling with our brand new truck, and hopefully getting some more XP. But anyway, thank you very, very, very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye!